thought I could hide my sin. I can hide it from all of you. I hide it from my wife, my kids, my family. I've fractured my relationship with my wife, that I need to rebuild that, to gain that trust because I've lived a lie with her. For eight years now, I've been harboring absolute hatred in my heart. Eight years ago, my, my sister was killed in a car accident. I, I was starting to hate God. I hated, I hated the fact I was tall. I hated the fact I had pimples and my friends didn't. I hated every fact about going to school and everything that was going on. I came to this not with God really in my life. I've known him and not lived for him. And this week I've given him everything. But I'm one of the only Christians at my school. <laughs> I don't represent God. I'm a really bad witness. I throw him to the side and I just, I just want to try to make people like me. I just wanted to have popularity. He found me self-righteous. I had a spirit of bitterness and I can say he revealed it to me, but I knew it all along. I was judging them. I was murmuring and, and gossiping about them and I was angry. I was able to get those things right with the Lord specifically and, and ask forgiveness. And I was able to go to that person and uh, restore a relationship wow. and uh, freedom. On May, May 15th, 2005, I separated from my husband and I haven't been praying about my marriage. I've been relying on other people. I realize now that I want my husband back. My first thing was that I need to come to you guys as a, a worship leader on Team 4. And the main I issue in my life right now is that I'm an adulterer. I, I struggle with pornography more than you know. God found me as someone who's been hurt and who hurts. My father is serving a life sentence for the first degree murder of my mother. It's the greatest hurt I've ever suffered in my life. I have, over the past year and a half, come to a place where, where praise God, I, I am ready and willing, and I can say with a pure and, and honest heart, I am ready to forgive him for killing my mother in cold blood. God really revealed to me this week is I knew I loved my wife, but my love was conditional. And when my wife was going through medical struggles where she couldn't please my needs, then my love dropped in direct relation to that. And then I started taking it out on the kids. And I come before you as a husband and a father, but also a deacon. And so I need to ask you for your forgiveness. I wore that Christian mask inside I knew I wasn't doubting, unfaithful, prayerless, fearful, like as in worried and anxious, judgmental. For five years I existed with my wife and that word transparency never had it because I had sin in my life. The marriage bed was defiled but last night we had our marriage bed pure and we made it right and I'm so thankful to God for, for my wife's Christ-like attitude and forgiving me that we have transparency. And I'm thankful to God for that.